cool, pure air, tasting the rich oxygen and nitrogen. My eyes filled with tears. The sun hovered behind the horizon like an orange fireball. Sunny, that was the latest buzzword. It was talked about now with every breath, and suddenly I knew what it really meant. I stretched out my hand to feel the warmth, to touch its face. Then the timer squealed and a voice roared in my ear. Simulation room S23, your time is up. Please move to the fast decompression chamber. Two hours later, I was back at the helm of my ship, the Zucubus, leaving the pleasure centers of the Malay archipelago behind. The nanofabric of my pilot seat massaged my body as I accelerated on full dipole drive, spearing into the black heart of the lifeless ocean like a nightmare shattering a dream. But the oceans were no longer as dead as they seemed. Scientists brewed gene cocktails and chromosome soups without sanction, rebreeding every life form within range of their test tubes. Mighty sharks, dolphins, even the greatest carnivores that ever lived. Primordial beasts that had terrorized the oceans 150 million years ago. The scientists did what they pleased, including creating new branches of life where evolution refused to go. They earned so many credits with their tinkering that even the most powerful computers struggled to keep up with the total. But behind the glittering facade of tungsten, titanium, and niobium, the calcareous whole of human existence was crumbling. The frequency of mass disasters increased dramatically. The muck runners, psychotics, high-tech slave drivers, gene adulterators, and slick techno dealers prowled everywhere, plunging habitats and dwellings into chaos. My name is Emerald Deadeye Flint. I'm tracking down the remaining bions scattered throughout the oceans. Each one a potent germ posing danger to the world of Aqua. I carry out the Viant mission with my four wing pilots, Grange, Piccolini, Harper, and Bonham, and my onboard computer, Sally. My clients are international, representing every government. appeared out of nowhere five years ago, aiming to extinguish human life in the oceans, I had no objection. On the other hand, it didn't hurt my cash box any to give humanity a short reprieve, so I went for the credits. But during the destruction of the Bayon stronghold off Australia, called the Servion, my friend Hong Long sacrificed her own life so I could place the final explosive charge. Now I don't sleep too easy. And I won't until every last remnant of the Bion threat has been eliminated. My last job was in Neapolis, the capital of the Atlantic Federation. Neapolis, home to the eccentric techno-bourgeois, a genetically zapped and nanotuned group wasting their senseless lives trying to establish the optimal political system in Aqua. All the while, Neapolis sinks deeper and deeper into a slick of pseudo-democracy, racism, techno-devotion, and corruption. Now the new line, who call themselves Democrats, are making the capital ungovernable, leading only to endless discussions, bureaucratic acrobatics, and a weakened city with a leaderless army. I was glad I was finished there and on my way to the tornado zone in the eastern Pacific. People take drugs in the tornado zone instead of ingesting nanorobots for cures, and their free-thinking attitude translates into free action as well. I was homesick, and I missed every screwball and dangerous freak who'd be waiting there to greet me. On the way, I made a short side trip to the Argentine basin to see my friend, El Topo, the mole. Nobody pulls strings like El Topo, who can get almost anything done behind the politicians' backs. El Topo murmured something to me about an important job, a secret scientific sensation. I got a little bored until he came to the part about earning lots of credits. So I went to Magellan and spent a few hard hours at Mariner's Pride, a rotten worker's dive, where I downed mid-brain assassins with a few old friends. 
Just as the world turned into the carousel I was hoping to ride, I caught sight of some jerk clearing off with a Zuka bus. I had never thought about that happening. Someone just stealing my ship out from under my nose. But there it went. Suddenly I was back to square one again in my old stomping ground. Broke, exhausted, and listing heavily. <laughs>